Hello, welcome back to the channel. This is 2 e iqj This week in Vintage Fridays, we're looking at this old piece of vintage tech from the early 80s. There we are. Check this thing out. This is a grandstand BMX flyer. Now, I got this at the local charity shop for four quid. There was a whacking great big uh, sticker on there um, from Help the Age or wherever the charity shop was. And I uh, saw Cube and Cube going, give it it. Bit of brake cleaner on there. Pulled the sticker off, no problems there. I said, well, it's stinky. He went, no, it just evaporates. So, lovely. So here we got the sound on off button, the power on off button. Makes nice bleeps. You got jump, down, got a wheelie button, and you got the dirt button there. This cost me a grand old total of four quid. And the lady said, if you've been here a week earlier, it was up for 10 quid, but no one brought it, so put it down to four quid. As soon as I saw it, it's in the display cabinet. As soon as I saw it, yeah, I'm having this one. On the side, you got a connection there for an AC adapter, which you could run off AC adapter if you wanted to. But it runs off four AA batteries in the back here. You got the speaker there, which is probably one of those P PSO or PSO speakers. It says that it contains no user serviceable parts inside. Do not take the game apart. You can read that. In the ground, it says grandstand being its flyer. At the back here, it's where you put the batteries, and I've got some Duracell batteries there. And instructions on the back here do take to use Duracell batteries. So let me know what's with Duracell batteries. Should work with the old Ever Redis as well. In, the, in them days, it would have been the Ever Redis, then red batteries. Remember them? I think they were Silver Seal. Let's see if this thing works. Turn it on. Oh, check that thing out. Look at it. LVFD display. Let's give it some sound. So we see if we can start. I don't know what's the button to start it. Oh, I'm gonna get hit by a bird. This is hard, this game. I was going down. Maybe I went down too, too late or too early. Let's try again. God, this game's hard. The screen is coming across a lot better than it does. It's coming a lot better on the camera than it does actually in person. I've got it at a slight angle. If I do it like that, and it's clearer like that for me to see. Let's try again. Three lives. Ah, oh, I did well now. I got 30 points. Oh, but I got going to shot by a helicopter. What happened there? I jumped. Oh, I went down the hole. Maybe that. I'd this game's impossible, and I've got scored a grand total of 50. This is a grandstand Bewitz flyer, like a chair shop. Now, I was informed by another chair shop, which was just across the road. Anything they get like this, such as these sort of games or cartridges, not Nintendo DS, because everyone's got brain training. Any cartridges they get, such as uh, Sonic Hedgehog, things like that, they go straight across um, on eBay. I thought I was going to do something then, but you can just watch the demo run. Any cartridges they get, go straight onto eBay. That's where they make the most money. So I thought, well, there's no point in going back into this charity shop again. I've only ever seen, uh, I've seen Mega Drive cartridges once and a few Master System cartridges. All the rest of the time, I just see that Dr. Karashima's brain training in the, in the charity shops and uh, the FIFAs. Find a, FIFA, a copy of FIFA on a PS2, then yeah. FIFA 14 on PS2, I'd probably nab that because that'd be worth a few quid. Because most people had it on an Xbox 360 or PS3. But yeah, this is the Grandstand BMX Flyer. Just a quick look. For Vintage Fridays, and this game's impossible. As you can probably tell, I couldn't do it. You can just tell me the sound. Probably tell I couldn't do the game. I found it, I found it hard. I haven't played in a while. Anyhow, if you found the video some use, not what to do, give it a thumbs up. Don't like the video, the other button seems to work too. But I'm off to play some more Grandstand BMX Flyer. I'll let you know next Vintage Fridays if I beat my score of 50. Thanks for watching. 7-3 for now.